So estimating is definitely a hot topic in this industry. A lot of people do in-home estimates. Some people just do over the phone. Some people get estimates um, on their booking form and, and they expect the client to be able to log in, see a price and book it right there. So it really depends on your area. It depends on, um, you know, if you're in a big, huge city with a bunch of millennials, then booking online and paying right there is something that's really not um, a difficult thing to accomplish. But if you're in small town USA, that might be a little bit more complicated because typically they want to call you and talk to you and understand who's going to be coming into their house. So it really depends on your area. For me, we don't do um, online pricing. We do everything via a quote um, once we call them. So our booking form online is technically just a get a quote form and it captures the information really quickly. It's very simple. It's just their, you know, their name, their address, square footage, bedrooms, bathrooms, and then what they're looking for as far as their frequency. So that's it. It's very simple. It's very quick. People have no problem filling it out. So we get a ton of leads from our website. And I personally think that that's attributed to how simple it is to submit a get a quote request. And then we call them back and we go through the spiel and we we ask them the, the clarifying questions that we need to ask in order to give them an estimate. So for us, that works. Um, we also don't do in-home estimates. And that's simply because as you get bigger, that starts to take a lot more time. And so whenever you're, you know, in the beginning of my business in the early days, I was doing in-home estimates. And once I started getting bigger, I realized that I was spending, you know, five to 10 hours a week just in the car driving, going and doing the estimates, then putting together, you know, the quote and everything after I got back. And it was something that just really wasn't um, a valuable use of my time whenever we can in fact just do it over the phone and close them just as easily. So I've reduced my time from 10 hours a week to about 30 minutes for the same amount of people. So it really made sense to us to do it like that. Um, we also noticed that whenever we did in-home estimates, when we were doing a walkthrough and we looked at it with our own eyes, we saw it. However, we didn't really get down and dirty and see the under underbelly of the clean in that walkthrough. So whenever we would get back in there and we would be doing the cleaning, if it was taking longer because there was a layer of grime over certain areas of the house that we didn't see from the naked eye, we would tell the client, okay, we're going to need extra time on this because of X, Y, Z reason. Well, they were a little more hesitant with that because we saw it with our own eyes. So why didn't we see that to begin with? So when we do it over the phone, it's so much easier to make sure that we're going to get paid exactly what we should be getting paid and not have any pushback as far as the price. Because we can say, since this is an over the phone estimate, and this is how I say it, I say, since this is an over the phone estimate, the way that it works is when my cleaners are about an hour away from their scheduled completion time, they're going to let me know if they're right on target or if they're going to need extra time. If they do need extra time, we will give you a call and you will be able to approve that or you can stay within your original estimate, understanding that it will be left incomplete. Mm -hmm. So doing it that way, we have never had an issue with being underpaid or a customer throwing a fit because the price is different. They understand it going in and they sign our customer guidelines stating that fact before we ever go clean for them. So it's it's definitely, um, it's been a brilliant way to, to run the business because we've literally never had any issues in this area.